appreciate what I'm working on today. 99% of the time, I work on things that I've already done. Everything is repeating. I cook and I clean and I share with you all of my recipes I use, depending on the season and depending on the need. Today I'm making bathroom fizzies. Now, I bet you're wondering, some of you who haven't seen my previous videos, what is a bathroom fizzy? Well, it's an all-natural cleaner that you drop a tablet into your toilet and it makes it really clean. It's using all-natural ingredients, but I found out it doesn't just clean your toilet. In fact, it cleans a load of laundry and even your dishes. Citric acid and baking soda and some essential oils, and it's amazing what it can do. Now, this citric acid is food grade. Of course, you wouldn't want to eat it, but people use citric acid to put in tomatoes so they don't have to pressure can them so they can water bath them. Citric acid is used in a lot of items that we eat, but I would not want you to eat this. This is strictly for cleaning, and we're going to make them today. I'll share with you the recipe at the end of this video. Instead of playing music like I often do, I thought I would just sit and talk to you today while I'm working on this. Maybe share with you some money saving tips or just talk to you about my day. It seems like it's so monotonous, you know, doing the same thing over and over again. And I'm really trying not to repeat my videos. But when you have 1400 videos and you showcased your life for five years, <laughs> it's really hard to have something new every day. But through it all, I really enjoy making my videos and sharing with you because there's always somebody new coming on my channel every single day who've never seen things like bathroom fizzies. All right, so let me show you what we do. It's really so simple. We're gonna take two cups of baking soda. And then we're going to use one cup or a little bit less of citric acid. And now what we do is we're going to mix them two together like this. And we're going to slowly add water with our essential oils. So I'm using this old water bottle and I'm gonna put in the essential oils of grapefruit and lemon. You don't have to use essential oil, but essential oils do make things smell so clean. Now I use a lot of essential oils when I'm cleaning. So you wouldn't have to use as much as I am but I really like strong scents when it comes to cleaning, and this is all natural. I'm gonna go ahead and put our cap on. Of course, I'm gonna throw this away when I'm finished with it. So now we're just gonna slowly add water until it becomes that we can put it together, and I'll show you in a moment. It takes a little bit of time I enjoy making things like this. Oh, if only I could bring you the scent of it all. It is absolutely smells so good. Then we're going to put them in a mold and we're going to let them dry for 24 hours and then they'll be like little tablets. People even use this for the dishwasher. I don't know anything about that, so I would never recommend that. But my whole house is starting to smell so clean. I just love the smell of lemon. I've been doing a lot of reading of my Gentle Spirit magazine. Those of you who haven't seen it know exactly what I'm talking about. I did a video on something that I got myself, something that brings back a lot of memories, but this is Gentle Spirit magazine. And it just transforms me to a time of simpler days. And they have all kinds of recipes and all kinds of things that you can do to save money. And they talk about how when you go to the grocery store, never go on an empty stomach. And always make sure when you go to the grocery that when you go to the grocery store, you always have a list. 
Make a list of the things you need. You know, and buying things that you have to do yourself. Buying a block of cheese. A block of cheese is usually cheaper than shredded cheese. You just have to shred it yourself. All right, so let's see once how this is because I don't know if I have enough water in it. Now they will dry out. It takes a little time, but this will be enough to probably last me maybe a month or two at the longest. Depends on what I'll use it for. But they are so much fun to make. And see how I'm just putting them in the molds like this? They will become hard once they are about 24 hours. They will become hard. So they won't look like this when they're done. I'm gonna finish working on this and then I'll show you a little bit later what it looks like and now what we do is we're gonna wait 24 hours until they're hard and then we'll take them out of the molds and I'll show you what it looks like and look at the stars we're gonna do stars from now on we love the stars all right Michelle go put them in your container and show them what it looks like all right this is the container I got to put them in so we got to make more because I want to fill my container up, but yeah, we have to make more. I'll just take so, a star, and that should be good for me. And these are the bunnies. Look at the little bunnies. Yeah, they're cute. I'll take a bunny, just one bunny. So, you know, it was a perfect now. project, and one of these in the toilet. We're going to just do it once a week. You put it in the toilet, and it will fizz up right away, and you can scrub them, and then they're clean. And they smell good. They smell amazing. amazing. That's what they... Perfect. Perfect DIY project. See ya. For lunch today, I'm eating a bowl of chili that our neighbor gave us. Yesterday, our neighbor stopped in and they had some chili left over and they asked if my husband and I would like to have some. You know, it's beautiful having neighbors. And I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna enjoy it. And I'll make sure that you get your container back. You two girls are amazing people and I'm so glad that you are my closest neighbors. Bye everybody. If you like videos like these, take a look. Take a look at all these other videos I have sharing with you my life here on the homestead. <laughs>